So the subject of degenerative spine has been treated all over the world for more than one century or hundred years. If you read all the articles written in the literature, they will state that the spinal degeneration starts from the disc. It starts from the disc. There is disc space reduction, disc degeneration, reduction of water content in the disc. This is the concept which is existing. <coughs> so what we did was we changed this concept. We have we have suggested that the degeneration does not start in the disc. It is secondary to instability of the spine. That is the concept. That degeneration is a second degeneration of the disc is secondary to spinal instability. It first spinal instability. First spinal instability, then spinal, then disc degeneration or reduction in the disc. So the, degen the spinal instability is due to long-standing human standing positions because we stand. Yes. That is why there is telescoping. The facets are like yes. this and the facets come like this. So this telescoping of the facets is the primary point of pathogenesis or starting of the process of spinal degeneration. I see. And this instability this facetal overriding is the number one issue. This overriding reduces the vertical distance between two vertebrae. It reduces yeah. the vertebral space. Yes. And this reduction of the vertebral space results in buckling or folding of the ligaments of the interspinous ligaments which are interspinous ligament, ligament of flavum and the posterior longitudinal ligament. All the ligaments buckle. And there is a secondary reduction in the disc space. So disc space reduction is not primary, it is secondary. It is secondary to facetal overriding, telescoping of the facets, buckling of the ligaments, buckling of the ligament of flavum, buckling of the posterior longitudinal ligament, and reduction in the displacement. Okay. So buckling of the posterior longitudinal ligament or the posterior longitudinal ligament is the beginning or the initiation or the starting of the pathogenesis of osteophyte formation. So essentially the issue is that all the changes in the spine right from the ligamentous hypertrophy which we call hypertrophy is nothing but buckling, osteophyte formation, this disc space reduction, spinal canal reduction, spinal root canal reduction are all secondary to one single phenomenon and that single phenomenon is spinal instability as a result of facetal overriding, as a result of vertical spinal instability. So spinal, vertical spinal instability forms the bottom line. So how to prevent spinal degeneration is to strengthen your muscles of the back. You keep your muscles strong, you keep your muscles healthy, you will not get spinal instability. So essentially instability is the number one cause. So we had introduced a technique called facetal distraction facetal distraction and introduction of spaces within the facet joint in cases with single and multi-level spinal degeneration. And we did not remove any ligament, any bone, any spinous process, any disc and the technique was remarkably simple and very straightforward and the results were outstanding clinical outcome. Yeah. So as we suggested that facetal distraction is the bottom line of treatment and you need no other treatment. Distraction, reduction of the vertical instability and aiming at arthrodesis or bone fusion and not decompression. So decompression is not the treatment. Removal of bone, removal of disc, removal of ligament is not the treatment. Distraction, reduction, arthrodesis is the treatment 
from multiple level or single level spinal degeneration, whether it is cervical spine, whether it is lumbar spine, that is the treatment. This is what we recommend. As we further improve in our understanding, as we further mature in our understanding, we realized that distraction may not be necessary. Only fixation, just fix the spine with the, the vertebra and that is the treatment. So we started using this form of treatment that instability is the cause, stabilize the spine and matter closes. Okay? Okay. So this treatment that we started and we did on several cases and we have found remarkable results. So what happens is when you do such a treatment, you have to be very experienced in understanding about the facetal anatomy, about the facetal instability and you cannot do this operation unless you are very much familiar with the facetal situation. Essentially we described that it is not the neural deformation or compression which is the problem. It is the instability and repeated micro injuries to the cord or trauma to the cord which is the cause of problem or the cause of symptom. So I have introduced some concepts in, in degenerative spine. That is one, that you don't have to do laminate. Laminectomy is a bad procedure. You don't have to decompress. So this word decompression is not necessary. You don't have to remove the osteophyte, which is very important. Everybody does this operation to remove the osteophyte. So I suggest you don't need to remove the osteophyte. Everybody does this operation to remove the disc. I suggest you don't need to remove the disc. Everybody removes the ligaments. So the thing is, is complete reversal of treatment. No decompression, no bone removal, no disc removal, no ligament removal, only facetal stabilization and that forms a very rational, very fantastic form of treatment for spinal degeneration.